dimension of not only paranoia and delusion, but idiocy. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are not pure ignorance. You're next on the Batshit Crazy Zone. <laughs> One month before Halloween. Brothers and sisters, as you know, Halloween will soon be here. This is a very important time for our most holy and glorious father, Satan. This holy day was designed for us by our father, so we can provide him additional sacrifices to him. Sacrifices are necessary for our cleansing. Then our father can again smile upon us with his true love and blessing. Our most holy sister, her highness, Sister Charity, will explain in more detail your assignments. My beloved brothers and sisters, listen carefully. This is important, and I will only tell you once. Over the past few years, we have been successful in providing our father we have a number of sacrifices, but this year we need more. We also need to prepare more children to worship and serve our father. You will each get your specific assignments from your priestesses and priests. We will use the following techniques in order to obtain more blood for our master. Some of you will continue planting razor blades, crushed glass, pins, etc. in the various treats. The total sacrifices Murder of the victim chosen for satanic sacrifice will be obtained again by injecting all special poisons and drugs into the treats. Our father, Satan, also wants to bring many more children under his guidance and care. This year, we will concentrate more on the special incantations needed to place curses on the treach which will influence the children eating them. Later in October. Oh, Holy Father, please send us your guiding demons upon these instruments so they may be used for your glory. In the pentagram are bottles of poison, syringes, razor blades, broken glass, straight pins, bags of candy, etc. Ha ha! Those kids will get an unexpected treat. Brenda, don't forget which of those candy bars you injected. Yeah, I can't wait until those little brats come to my door. Our father will bless us for this. Halloween night. Three children prepare to go out trick or treating. Now, Johnny, you be sure to go only to those neighbors on our block that you know and be home in an hour. Okay, Mom. Hi, Susie. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. My mom says we must not go to anyone's house that we don't know. Remember what happened to Bobby last year? Yeah, my mom said the same thing. Okay, let's go. Track train. Well, what do we have here? A witch? A ghost? How do you see without any isolates, ghost? And a devil. Take your pick, kids. Thanks, Miss Brenda. You're nice. 
30 minutes and several homes later. Yarn! What's that? It's a child screaming. In the emergency room. I'm sorry, Miss Dexter. We couldn't save Johnny. But Susie is in ICU, and Jerry is in surgery for the cuts in his mouth. I believe they'll be all right. Oh my God, Brenda. How could this happen in our neighborhood? <laughs> oh. What a tragedy. Meanwhile, Sister Charity watches the late night news. A tragedy this Halloween night. Eight-year-old Johnny Dexter died as a result of a drug overdose in Halloween candy. Many children have been hospitalized in the city tonight. Yes, we have done well. Satan will be pleased with our accomplishments. But God said, Thou fool, this night thou shalt be required of me. Luke 12, 20. Oh, my heart, I can't breathe. Death. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Hebrews 9.27 Sister Charity was told she would rule and reign with Satan in hell, but would never be tormented. Holy Father, I'm burning! How can this be when I've served you so well? <laughs> you stupid little fool. You're getting what you deserve. My trick was getting you to serve me. Now your treat is to burn for eternity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Luke 27 through 28. Note, Satan shall be tormented in hell. Revelation 20, 10. Ten months after Johnny's death. Thanks for having us over, Brenda. I want to meet my dear friend Becky from out of town. How nice to meet you. Oh, I don't like this, Becky. I can't understand what's happening to Susie. She's not the same little girl. She was so sweet, but now she's totally rebellious. I can't even get her to go to Sunday school anymore without a big fight. My Jerry is just the same. I don't know how to handle him anymore. I know what you mean. I went through the same thing with my children, but it's just a fight. I don't think so, Brenda. Can anyone think of any major problem that occurred in Jerry's or Susan's life recently? Mm. Yes, it was on Halloween. My Jerry was badly cut. And little Susie almost died from drugs put into a candy bar. Well, that's it. That's the key. What do you think you are, Becky, a psychiatrist? No, I'm an ex-witch. Now, I'll serve Jesus. Uh, fuck. I should have suspected it. Let me tell you the truth about Halloween. It came from an ancient druid custom set up for human sacrifices on Halloween night, even though they didn't have Halloween back during the time of the druids. But still, druids offered children in sacrifices. They believed that only the fruit of the body offered to Satan was the full sin of the soul. Paraphrased from the two Babylons by Hislop, page 232. Emphasis on paraphrased. The trick-or-treat custom was created by the druids when they went to a home and demanded a child or virgin for sacrifice. The victim was the druid's treat. In exchange, they would leave a jack o lantern with a lighted candle made of human fat to prevent those inside from being killed by demons that night. When some unfortunate couldn't meet the demands of the druids, then it was time for the trick. A symbolic hex was drawn on the front door. That night, Satan or his demons would kill someone in that home. See Spellbound, pages 13, 14, published by Chick Publications. Oh, that was an ancient custom. That's not what our Halloween is all about. Wrong, Brenda. The same thing is going on today, only it's much more subtle. I know from personal experience that our Halloween was carefully planned by Satan to accomplish several things. What things? Halloween opens the door to Satanism. Read Lucifer Dethroned and Blood on the Doorpost by William and Sharon Schnumble Bull. Sh 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 sh
Novellan by Chick Publications. First of all, you must understand that Satan is one of the most powerful and intelligent creatures God ever created. He was once one of the greatest of all God's angels until he sinned by deciding he would become greater than God. Satan is our enemy. Ezekiel 28, 12, 15. Incidentally, how many of you believe Satan is alive today? Nobody does, Becky. That's an old fascist superstition. I agree with Brenda. You just did. Me too. I can't buy this devil nonsense. You all fell for it. What? You all believe witches, devils, and demons are just make-believe in a big joke only to appear on Halloween. This is exactly what Satan wants you to believe. If you think he doesn't exist, then you won't find him. Satan's greatest desire is to hurt and destroy people. The children who are mutilated and murdered every Halloween are no accident. Their carefully planned sacrifices to Satan, carried out by those who serve and worship him. To gain control of children's minds, witches make elaborate incantations called forth demonic powers to attack these little ones. Their minds are influenced by these dark powers to alter their way of thinking. How do I shut her up? Are you saying little Susie and Jerry are under Satan's influence? I didn't you say that had changed? This is getting scary. Jerry has changed. This is horrifying. There's no hope. There is hope. Someone is stronger than Satan. In fact, Satan will fall down before him and call him Lord. Philippines 2.10-12 to to His name is Jesus Christ, the one who created the universe. Colossians 1.16 Jesus came to earth to destroy Satan's power. He went to the cross and shed his blood to wash away our sins. John 3.8 when you receive a Jesus as your Lord, Savior, and Master, you then have His power available to stand against Satan. The Bible says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4.7 Twenty minutes later, Becky leads in prayer. Dear Jesus, please forgive and save me. Oh, you Fuck! She's destroying our Halloween! Now that you have made Jeebus your lord, you have his authority and power to deal with these demonic forces in wounds your children. Becky, our kids should be home from school. Will you help us pray for them? You bet. Behold, I give you unto the power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Father, in Jesus' name we ask you to remove the demonic power and influence from the lives of these precious little ones. Thank you, Lord, for cleansing these children. Becky then leads the children to Christ. One month later, Jane, Susie is like her old self again. So is Jerry. Thank God they are free from Satan's grip and their names are written in heaven. Giving thanks unto the Father who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated unto into the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1.12-13